when, when I started nine years ago, I started as a cloud support associate. Um, that's the first time we hired this role, actually. Um, before I joined, we did not have a cloud support associate, and I spent uh, about three months just uh, learning uh, with my peer uh, regarding the cloud technology, and uh, after nine years, here I am. I joined the AWS as a cloud support associate via the premium support graduate program. Here, I was able to apply a lot of the concepts I learned during my master's program while working with real-world customer use cases. Over the past four years, I've been able to successfully progress my career at AWS. Today, I'm an AWS Cloud Support Engineer, working with customers based all around the world. I joined AWS as a graduate. A couple of years later, and I'm now an engineer. The best part of my job is that it is really dynamic. Everything changes very quickly. Our technologies are constantly evolving, and I'm developing my skills with this flow. And I'm never bored. The Amazon Leadership Principle, Learn and Be Curious, is one of the key soft skills. I have always been a people person, so having the opportunity to work with amazing colleagues from different countries and diverse backgrounds has definitely improved my communication skills and also helped broaden my outlook on life. And of course, we have a lot of opportunities if people want to pursue a different career path and uh, move to different uh, teams in AWS. I actually started at AWS um, in the support organizations. I was a cloud support engineer. And then about two years into that, um, I transitioned to being a partner solutions architect. Transitioning into the role was really awesome as well, just because um, I'd already been working at AWS for the last two years. When I got hired at AWS, I worked in AWS premium support, and I was a support engineer. After about a year, I moved to solutions architecture. From here, you can go anywhere. 